everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com and welcome. Welcome to a market review. I thought I'd review the SPY today, specifically because it's weaker right now than the Qs. Uh, market fell in today. I was expecting this bearish move yesterday. I was one day early. Um, and then it did today. It, it did it today. And actually, let's just see here what the call is for tomorrow, actually. So no matter how we close, if we open here neutral in the morning, we're lower. If we open a little bit above the uh, close, we're lower. So if we open neutral, we're lower. If we open a little bit above the close, we're lower. If we open here, we're lower. As long as we open under 180, we're lower tomorrow. Uh, low odds we gap up over 181. If we do, it's a buy. I don't think that's happening. If we gap down significantly, then then it's a buy. I don't think that's happening either. So I think the market's going to close bearish today and either gap up a little bit and fall yet tomorrow or uh, actually have a neutral open and fall tomorrow. So th this is actually going to turn out to be a bearish day tomorrow too. It looks like it's shaping up to be in the market. We could come in the rest of the week till Friday. Tomorrow's Thursday and Friday, yeah. So as soon as I saw this happening in here today, I said, that's it. We're going to power trend and just sell every sell setup. Sell every sell setup in the market today. Um, everything's going to work and everything did work. So you could have sold this here into the 10 o'clock period into the market. Could have added in this trade here and sold it into the 1230 period. Could still have shorted this again in here and sold it on down. Um, but I think the market looks like here it did a double bottom on 79.15, 79.15. If this breaks it, we're going to break and uh, break under 179 before the close. Or we may just slosh around in here sideways until we close. But the market had a nice bearish move today. So a lot of shorts worked uh, very nicely. Follow through continuation gaps, some new gaps as well. It was a nice day to short the market, which of course I, I like to short stocks normally in general. But it was a nice day to short the market too. And a lot of nice shorts worked and you had to get the direction right. This doesn't mean we're in a downtrend. This isn't changing the trend of the market. The market's still bullish. The SPY is bullish. The Qs are bullish. This move today has not changed anything with the market. And not only that, we will still end up closing bullishly to end the calendar year. It's only December 10th. But we did have a bearish move today. I do expect a follow-through bearish move tomorrow, unless for some reason we gap over 181 or gap down big, and then it's a gap and go type of effect. But I suspect we're going to close weak today and then open um, with a small gap up or neutral and then fall. And so that's the call. Bearish here in the SPY and the Qs today and tomorrow. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information, feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I have a gap class this weekend if anyone's interested. There's still some spots left if you want to email me to register and sign up. Have a great day, everybody. Hope you had fun shorting your stocks today. And I will see everyone tomorrow.